like recently it's just been bad like it's to the point where like i had to delete uh, you might be jealous sis you might be a little jealous that's all i'm gonna say dang i look good like this is too good not to share i'm gonna post it like hey y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Jaden nicole if you guys are new here make sure you click that subscribe button down below if you like what you see do not forget to leave this video a thumbs up and do not forget to make sure that your notification bell is turned on as you guys can see by the title today we are going to be doing a get ready with me i'm going to be doing my hair and my makeup the sun has gone down so when y'all get into the video the first part first majority of the video is going to be filmed like when it's brighter outside but y'all know daylight savings time but we're just gonna be chatting getting into some things you know just just talking so if you guys are interested then let's go ahead and get into this video so, before we get into the makeup and everything i am going to do my hair i know it look crazy don't mind i just have these two pigtails but i'm going to be straightening it and i'm going to be using my duval flat iron they sent me over a flat iron to test out for you guys so i can review it tell y'all if it's good enough if it's worth the coin you already know the description box will have a discount code below so make sure y'all check that out and i believe they have a curling one they have like a small one and then they have a bigger one so you just open it up like this it is pink just looks like this so i'm gonna plug this up and we're gonna do my hair first and then i'll get into my makeup wow it's lit the lighting i'm sorry y'all like if the if the sun keeps like going y'all know y'all know the struggle like thank god for this lighting behind my camera but the sun is just doing its own thing right now but anyways so i just kind of want to talk to y'all today about like kind of what's currently been going on with me and like i don't know i feel like recently i've been you know what I'm gonna get into talking after I start straightening my hair. I'm probably just gonna speed through there and then once I start doing my makeup, oops, not not tangled. So I'm think I'm gonna just go ahead and straighten my hair as good as possible. Hopefully it does not take me forever. And then I'm gonna speed through that part. And y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think about the things that I am going to be like the topics that I am gonna be touching on. Tell me what y'all think about it. it just looks like this hot pink cute and then it goes if the lowest heat setting is 140 degrees and then the highest is 450 so it gets pretty hot i have it like um, i probably got it on around like maybe 400 because i like to have it on high heat to get it as straight as possible how have y'all been and hello to my new subscribers i do have more videos on the way like i said i always post on my community tab and i tell y'all you know what videos are coming up and i did mention the other day how i want to um do the giveaway the 2k giveaway and i know you're probably thinking like i forgot i have not i literally have not but I think I want to just do a cash giveaway because I do want to get a P.O. box eventually. And I want to do like a giveaway where I just include like some cute things in a package and I send it off. But I don't really know what to include in it. I had some ideas, but I'm like, if I send this off, are they even going to like it? Like, are they even going to like it? I don't know if they will. So I think I'm going to just do like a cash giveaway. And then we'll, we'll do something different the next time. All right. Is this too much of a big piece? This shouldn't be. All right, and I was gonna do this with my natural hair, but I won't be getting that done for another week. Let's see what this Duval. I have my other little mirror over here. Can y'all see? Okay, it's just getting a little straight, but not that straight. Let me turn it up a little bit. I don't know. It's not getting as straight as I want it. Like it's straightening. It's straightening the hair. But it's not getting as straight as I want it to be. She's getting straight. Probably, I think I have to do a little bit more passes. I'll probably go in smaller sections. I'm very impatient when it comes to doing hair. Uh, like I'm, I'm impatient. I don't like doing my own hair. 
so if i went in smaller pieces which i probably will not because i'll be here all day okay so yeah that looks good i think they all come in this hot pink color too like all of their hair tools i'm not too sure we already know i got the discount code so make sure y'all check the description box below okay This hair was previously like wanded and I just left it regular so it was like raggedy. I'll probably use some uh, shine serum to give it a good little shine. But it's straightening pretty well. Like that's looking good actually. Alright y'all, okay, this flat iron is good, so thank y'all again for sending me over this flat iron, it did really well, really well, I did turn it up on like, almost, I had it on like 400 and I turned it up even more, because I kind of wanted to get it done as like, as soon as possible, like, I'm tr I was trying to get through it very quickly, so I did turn it up, almost to, I went from like 400 to like almost 450, which is the highest heating setting, but um, yeah, looks good I gotta fix my flyaways and do my baby hairs and stuff but I think I'm about to just go ahead and get into my makeup but overall she straightens pretty well I already primed my face I probably will not go through each individual product because it's not really like a tutorial or anything like that like I might mention a few products but I may not mention every single one so yeah so I just kind of wanted to talk about like what I've recently been like dealing with like I feel like social media has really gotten to me and it's starting to consume me like I'm getting to the point where like I feel like I'm starting to compare my life to other people who are in my age bracket and you know like I don't know I feel like I just been comparing myself and really feeling like dang I'm not doing enough like I'm not doing enough but <sighs> It's just, I don't know. Social media is, y'all all know that social media, a lot of social media stuff is fake. Like a lot of that stuff is fake. Like a lot of stuff that you see be fake. Now some people do be living that good life, I ain't gonna lie. But a lot of things that you see like, it's just fake. So I have to get to a point where I'm not comparing myself and I'm just here to tell y'all if y'all are feeling like that, that you are more than likely not the only one. Everything is not as you know glitter and gold glitz glam all that whatever how it seems on social media now like i said some people they are living that life and some people are not i've just been in this funk where it's gotten to the point where now i feel like i need to take more social media breaks and even though like i want to start posting more pictures and getting oh i forgot to put see i'm already messing up every time i start talking i get sidetracked i forget how to do my makeup social media things that you see in the media you know you start comparing your life like dang like am i not doing the right thing like when is my time gonna come and that's the thing like your time can come if you're putting in that work and you're working towards your goals you're gonna get there but everybody's and i'm no makeup guru so i just do my makeup the way i just do it so don't judge you know don't judge um which one i want to use i use this one um everybody's journey is not the same and you have to be okay with that because you know like i said you see everybody especially people in your age bracket and you're like dang when is my time gonna come and i have to stop letting that stuff get to me so i feel like is it normal yes especially with this day and age with social media y'all know social media is so powerful and i'm not gonna say i'm always in a funk but i just i feel like recently it's just been bad like it's to the point where like i had to delete 
Instagram for a minute and of course it's still kind of a part of things that I do like I still have to promote my channel when I post videos like I'm posting it on my story so I can't just get rid of it completely because that's how I promote my stuff especially when I want to get more active on there but I feel like when I'm like in that funk where I'm starting to like compare myself to people too much or just not even just comparing just like just seeing everyday social media I had to sit and think like why am I feeling so down like what is it where is it coming from because I'm spending a lot more time on social media and I'm like look I love Instagram I love TikTok and stuff Instagram is mainly I feel like where it is like where it's coming from I have to take my breaks because I feel like sometimes it can literally consume you to the point where you lose focus on what it is you're supposed to be doing. You're so worried about what somebody else is doing that you're not even, that time that you're spending scrolling and comparing yourself, you could be working towards that business you want to start or doing some, I don't know, filming a video, planning out some video content. Like sometimes I just get so wrapped up and I'm just sitting there scrolling for hours. Like I have to take a break. And I did it the other day. I didn't do it for long. I think I took it off of, like, I'll delete the app off of my phone. I would do this normally. But I, like I said, recently I feel like it's really been, like, getting to me. So, if you are feeling like, oh, I just got makeup in my, oh my god, did I just, okay, I gotta take this off my hand because this is not it. And then I'm looking at people on social media I'm like, dang, they look so happy. Their lives are so perfect. Like, no, they go through the same things that we go through. You know, some of them talk about it and some of them don't. So I just feel like, you know, my advice to anyone that feels like social media is getting to them or they're starting to compare themselves or like doubt their potential, you might need to take a break. Just try to stay focused on what it is that you want to do and not compare yourselves to others because some things aren't like what they appear on social media it's like a whole nother reality for people literally and a lot of the stuff is fake and even if it is real you have to be okay with where you are and just work towards where you want to be i'm using my rihanna fenty concealer i feel like this concealer like it's light but it's not as light as i want it to it's not as light as the fawn and the la girl pro concealer that's what I used to use, but I like this too. It's still good. It just dries really, really fast. So I don't let it sit too long. It dries fast. Um, but yeah. Um, and then getting into like the whole social media, promoting yourself, getting out there, putting yourself, yourself out there, like getting comfortable with it. I struggle with that. Like literally. Like, when I had my YouTube channel, I wasn't, when I first started my YouTube channel, that was back in 2016. I was not as consistent, but I also was in college. So, it was kind of like, like, I didn't really have that much time to put aside when I was in college. I was never really on social media like that, and then I did not promote my stuff that well. So, when I got out of college, that's when I was like, okay, we're about to take this YouTube thing serious. When it comes to promoting yourself or getting comfortable you're just gonna have to do it sis like you're just gonna have to do it okay forget what people think i had to get out of that and i'm still working towards it because i'm like uh do i want to post this video on my channel i don't know if anyone's gonna watch it i'm, I'm gonna have to just post it to see to see if y'all want to see it like i won't know until i do it so i feel like once I started getting to a point where I stopped caring what people think when it came to my channel. Because I didn't want nobody to know I had a channel. Like, like if you knew, you knew. If you didn't, you didn't. Like, that's how I was. But I had to stop thinking that way. Because I had to get active and I had to promote my stuff. Like, it don't matter how many likes you get, how many reposts you get. Post it, okay? Promote yourself. Be your biggest fan. I hopefully, hopefully this is not blurring out when I'm doing it, because I feel like it is. It's like going out of focus, of course. So if it is, I apologize. You have to be your biggest fan, and that's one thing that I literally had to like. I was struggling with it at first, because like I said, I would be like, oh, "Ain't nobody gonna watch it. So what? Somebody gonna watch it? And even if they don't, that's okay. 
You have to be your biggest fan. You gotta promote yourself. Pure point blank. Don't doubt yourself. You have to get comfortable. Because that's the number one thing. Like when it comes to like social media and you promoting yourself or your business or whatever the or whatever you want to you're doing, you gotta be okay with it. You gotta be okay with maybe not getting no likes. You gotta be okay with it. I have to get comfortable with that. And then going into like people supporting you. Hmm. Now, I don't have that many friends. But I know people that have like a lot of friends or a good solid group of friends and only one of them will like support. Support comes in so many different forms. It's not just about reposting. It's about like, you know, buying a product or um, watching the video or liking the video, whatever the case may be. Um, support comes in different ways. But I've noticed, like, I don't know if it's just with women, but, like, not not many people are probably going to support you. Like, the people in my life, they support what I do. And they may do it in different ways, which is fine, but you for, for you to just not support your friends, like, at all, I don't know, you might be jealous, sis. You might be a little jealous. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. We're just going to keep it 100. We're going to keep it real, okay? I do not remember whose video I was watching. I just remember, like, she was saying, like, nobody, like, friends, like, people that she talked to on a daily basis was not supporting her. Not They weren't supporting her. They weren't nothing. Like, it was just a lack of support. Um, and then all of a sudden, like, you know, when she started getting noticed, or they started seeing, you know, her numbers go up. All, all of a sudden, out of the blue, people started, you know, wanting to support her. I just feel like that's weird. Like, you didn't support me when I was at the bottom. Like, come on now. What's that song? I don't know what the lyrics, how the lyrics go. Y'all know how Mike Jones was like, back then they didn't want me, now I'm hot, they all on me. He was talking about women wanting him, and he had lost a lot of weight, and now they wanted him. But that goes to say, back then, or when I, you know, wasn't out there that much, I really, you know, I was starting small, my business was start, starting small, or my channel was starting small, or whatever the case was, may be. When I was starting small, you know, y'all didn't care. And all of a sudden, oh, how is your business going? Oh, I don't support you, girl. Oh, okay. You could have been doing that. Pay attention to stuff like that. I know I do. I'm very cautious with who I allow around me. I'm very cautious with friends, like too many red flags. I'm already side eyeing you. I'm very cautious about people that I live around me. So just pay attention. I feel like I just got so many things that's just kind of going like hand in hand with each other. What's another thing? Surgery. Like being comfortable in your skin. If you're not happy with your body, there is nothing wrong with getting plastic surgery. You only get one life and you only get one body. So maybe you don't want to work out. Maybe you don't. And there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know why people shame women for getting surgery. Now, some of the surgeries do be looking crappy. Like some of the doctors, no. Like some of the, some of the BBLs, like y'all know that's the most common surgery. A lot of women is becoming even more common. Like, I don't know when it started to get super popular, but it's super popular. Like everybody's getting BBLs. Like if there's something, if I get to a point where... When I get to the point where I have the means to do I want, what I want to do, if there's something that I want to get surgically done, I'm going to go do it. If I really think on it and I really want it, I don't see myself getting plastic surgery at all. But some people genuinely get surgery because they genuinely do not like their bodies. And a lot of the women who bash other women for getting surgery, oh, you're just like everybody else. Like, girl, you know if you had the means, you probably would go get surgery. Like, 
for real stop like stop it cut it out i'm just all about like doing what makes you happy forget everybody else who cares who cares who cares what they think post that picture okay who cares what they think get that surgery if it's gonna make you happy do it do what makes you happy honey because at the end of the day it's your body it's your life and you only get one so where's my i'm looking for this brush yeah you only get one life and you shouldn't let people dictate what you do it's a whole nother and i feel like I, i've gotten to a point where i'm getting comfortable with my sexuality like like i feel like a lot of women get to that point because i've seen girls that i know that i may have grew up with like or went to school with um you know get more comfortable with their sexuality that don't mean you a hoe like just because you post a picture of your ass in the in the in the in the camera or you got a picture of your bathing suit on that mean you a hoe that don't mean you begging for attention that just means you and you could be begging for attention but i know if i post a picture i'm looking at it like dang i look good like this is too good not to share i'm gonna post it like i don't care <laughs> i don't care what you think i'm gonna post this picture i look good i feel good okay and it's too good of a picture to just sit in my camera roll so i'm posting it Am I messing it up? Whatever. Oh my God. Maybe I do struggle with talking to y'all and doing my makeup. Okay, we are back. Um, Literally, my lashes were not cooperating. As y'all can see, the sun... <sighs> the sun went down. I still wanted to be... It's a little bit sunny, but y'all can't really see it because my blinds are closed. But anyway... I finally got my lashes on and now I'm about to do my lips so we can finish this video up oh y'all I just got this Sephora lip liner got this in I got this in the color molasses I kind of shade it in like a little bit in the corner of my lips and just do that and do the other side Just a little bit. And they're so pigmented, you really don't have to do much. Take a little bit and rub it in. I'm gonna take the warm nude, wherever that is. Where is it? So I'm gonna take the warm nude and I just put a little bit right here. And a little bit right here. Take my finger. Likely, I'm always going to have like a shiny top coat on my lips. Because I just like when they shine. So we are done with this Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new, make sure you're subscribed and make sure your notification bell is on. That way you know every single time that I post a video. Go check out my other videos as well. Leave a thumbs up and I will see y'all in my next one.